times ten to power three Newton. We are aware that I Z Z is equal to uh, eight uh, five point eight one three times ten to power minus six. And we know now the thickness. Now, which thickness to use? Interesting now, right? Which thickness to use? Okay, do 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 you use uh zero point one six meter, or are we going to use zero point zero two meter? Anyone? Which thickness will you use? Zero point one six or zero point zero two? And tell me why. Right, because at point A, it's at the intersection where we call this part as a flange. These two parts is known as the what? The web. So point A is at the intersection of what? The flange and the web. Which one will you use? Okay, so the answer is use this one. Why you use this one, you will get a higher stress magnitude. Okay. There is no point to find out something that has lower stress. Yes or no? You whenever you calculate, you want to calculate what is the maximum because it's a maximum stress that will fill the structure. Are we clear? Now, if we have a point, if let's say this question does not have it, okay, let's say now. If we have a point down here where I'm going to put my dot here, uh, where we're going to put my dot here, this is my point D. Right? If I want to determine point D, then the thickness is equal to what? 0 0.16 meter. That, there's no negotiation, okay? There, because it's impossible to just consider uh, 0 0.02 meters or 20 millimeters at all. Okay, very, this, this is a very, very important thing. Okay, right. So now, let's find first moment of area. Okay, so let me copy. That diagram is quite messy. So now, okay, we know or it's given that our centroid is over here. Okay, so this is our centroid. So we want to find the first moment of area at point A. So analysis starts from uh, maximum, right? And then this is the analysis direction. So i.e. the area that we are going to consider is this entire area over here. Okay, is it entire area over there? Okay, so we're going to take first moment of area is equal to a y bar. Okay, so like what I always do, parallel to the axis is going to be my width, perpendicular to my our axis. This is our depth, and the distance from here to here. We also know that it is thirty-five millimeters given. Okay, it's 35 millimeters. Okay, so now we are going to calculate width, depth, multiplied by what? Y bar of the shaded region. So the width is straightforward. It's 0 0.16. The, the, the depth of that section, as you can see down there, is 0 0.2. Okay, sorry, 0 0.02, 20 millimeters. The y bar, okay, the y bar is the distance from here to here. So now this is our y bar. Okay, that is our y bar. So in order to get y bar, right, we know that it's 35. So 35 millimeters, so 0 0.035 minus by 0 0.02 divided by 2. Okay. A lot of times, why we get wrong is the determinant of the y bar. Okay. 
So this will be equal to uh, 0 0.06. Sorry, 0 0.035 minus by 0 0.02 divided by 2 times by 0 0.02 times by 0.16 is equal to 80 times 10 to the power minus 6 uh, meter cube. Okay. So now we know everything already, right? So the shear xy. Uh, or at point A is equal to V, we know it's 80 uh, times, I'm going to bring this up, hold on. It's equal to 80 times 10 to the power of 3, oh, no, no, uh, it's equal to 90 times 10 to the power of 3, the first moment of area is 80 times 10 to the power of minus 6, divide by the, uh, uh, first moment of area 5.8133 times 10 to the power of minus 6 on 813 will do. Okay, times 10 to the power of minus 6. Divide by the thickness, you have to consider 2 down here. 2 is because of left and right web. Right? Your 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 web, you have a left, and your web over here, you have a right. And then the thickness is 0 0.02. Okay. So this is equal to 90 power 3 times by 80 power minus 6 divided by 5.813 power minus 6 divided by 2 divided by 0 0 0.02 is equal to 30.965. Okay. Times 10 to power 6. Pascal. I do it again, 90 power 3 times 80 power minus 6 divided by 5.813 power minus 6 divided by 2 power 0.02. 38 divided by 9.65. Okay, now let's do another point. Okay, I will not do point B. I'll, I'll, I'll do point B later, but I think I have to show you this so that you will have an easier time in your homework. Okay, you have a easier. So now, Eugene? yes. Um, isn't the thickness of the web 30 though, not 20? 20. Hello? Yeah. You know why it's 20? I think there's a, a bit confusion down here. You can see this over here. Hello? Yes, yeah, I can see. Yeah, I also got confused earlier also. I have the same uh, confusion as you, okay? I'm gonna show you the, the next one, okay? Is, let's say now, Okay, let's say now, where is my small diagram? I do apologize moving around like a mad dog, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to copy from here again. Okay. I'm going to show you more, in, more interesting stuff rather than, okay. Now, what if now, right, what if now, we want to find so we're going to find the centroid. Okay, so we know that this is our centroid. Right? So now what if now we want to find I've been saying what if now, what if now some meta the stresses at point C. Exactly at the centroid now. Okay. So from here, you can either use the bottom. Okay. You can either use the top section or you use the bottom section. Okay. I will use the bottom section. I'll, I'll, I'll find the bottom section first because geometrically it is easier. Yes or no? Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that, right? So we know the distance from here to here. Um, Eugene, I just have a question. Yes. For the, uh, when you're choosing to use like the top or the bottom, would you have to use the one that has the furthest distance from the centroid? So that you're yes. following whatever you it was? You have to. Yes. <laughs> you got it down there. Okay. okay. You, Thanks. You have to start from the furthest distance. Furthest distance can be furthest, furthest distance positive or furthest distance negative. Does not really matter. Okay. So now we're going, to, we're, we're going to use the bottom. Well done, okay? You guys are obedient. I like that. You guys are not like me. I'm a lawbreaker, okay? Let's consider the bottom section. Okay, I'm a lawbreaker because if I keep on getting speeding tickets, okay? 
because I I I I I always break rules. Another speeding ticket I get. I need to go to, for driving school. Okay. <laughs> so this is our analysis direction, right? We're going to take from the bottom. So now the 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 Q. Uh, first moment of area about the Z axis. So I tend to use width, depth, Y bar. Okay. So we know the width is. So now we have to. Be careful down here. I'll tell you why the be careful down. The first moment of area you have to consider the twice. Twice over here is your left and right. Okay, where? Okay, twice. Then your width will be 0 0.02. The depth will be uh 0 0.065. And the y bar. Okay, so the y bar is, is halfway, right? The y bar is halfway. So this is equal to 0 0.065. So when we do the bottom, it is this area that we are considering. Okay, so this will be equal to 2 times 0 0.02. Times by 0 0.065 times by 0 0.65 divided by 2 is equal to 84.5 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube. I'll do it again. So 0 0.065 divided by 2 times by 0 0.065 times by 0 0.02 times by 2 is 84.5 times 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. Now we are looking at the bottom section. Okay. So this is uh, from bottom. Shouldn't it be 0 0.065 minus? Okay. Yeah, 84.5 times 10 to the power minus 6. No, like when you're finding the y bar. It's 0 0.065 divided by 2. Okay? Because it's half. Y bar is half, not y. Okay? Now, are you okay? Samuel, I have to like show the next part if taking from the top later after uh, later uh, when we finish. Can you um, I can show you again. Are you OK with that, Samuel? Yes, yes. OK, so now if we take from the top. OK, so I'm going to take the same thing. Uh, so now if we take this from the top, now we are going to consider the top part. Okay. So now if we were to consider, I have four minutes. I, I do apologize of rushing, but I, I need to show you this before you are, are comfortable with your homework. Now, if I were to take it from the, the, the top, so I have we have to consider this section now, this section over here. Okay. And this section over here. Right? So this is your flange. And over here are your webs. Okay. So your QZ will be the Q of the flange plus by the Q of the web. So either you take from the top or from the bottom, the Q has to be the what? The same. Okay. So this is taking from the top section. Okay, so the Q at the top, okay, the flange, uh, the width is 0 0.16, the depth is 0 0.02, and the Y bar is equal to uh, 0 0.03 pi minus by 0 0.02 divided by 2 plus, now is the web, okay, so twice the web. Okay, left and right, multiplied by the width is 0 0.02, right? The depth of, of, the, of, the, of the web, so we know that this distance is what? 35 millimeters, right? 20 minus 35 is 0 0.015, multiplied by 0 0.015 divided by 2, okay? So this will be equal to 0 0.035 minus by 0 0.02 divided by 2, times by 0 0.02 times by 0.16. So this is equal to 80 times 10 to the power minus 6 plus 
by 0 0.015 divided by 2 times by 0 0.015 times by 0 0.02 times 2 is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the power minus 6. So this is equal to 84.5 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube. This one by looking for at the top. Right? So either you take from the top or from the bottom, the answer is absolutely the what? The the QZ is the same, okay? And then very quickly, the shear XY at point C, right? Remember I told you, V and I are constant. So V is equal to 90 times 10 to the power 3 divided by the Y bar, uh, sorry, the IZ is 5.813 times 10 to the power minus uh, 6, right? So either you take from the top or the bottom, it's still going to be the same, right? Left and right web, and the thickness is 0 0.02. So this will be equal to 90 power 3 times 84.5 power minus 6 divided by 5.813 power minus 6 divided by 2 divided by 0 0.02 is equal to 32.706 uh, times 10 to the power 6 Pascal. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to have confidence. Either you take from the top or from the bottom, you, you'll have the same answer. Okay, I'll see you all on Wednesday then. Bye. I'll still be around, okay? If you have questions to ask me, you can ask me. Uh, you